Hello my friends and welcome to episode 47. Rate Road. I kind of like Rocky Road? I don't know. But anyway, here we are. So let's uh, do my replacements. This was the tank that was accidentally uh, left on an incorrect level of overstrength. Right. This is the unit which I want to repair. Oh no, heroes don't die. Look, Mr. River Assault is back in the list. Just as bad as ever. Just can't redeploy them. I think this is the field repairs that was on this one. Yep. Probably should have just unassigned it first. Anyway. Okay, let's have a. Before we do anything else, uh, let's. Let's unassign that, because that was useless. So what we have here is 8 soft, 10 hard, and 6 air attack. So it is actually totally superior. Not superior to a fighter. In uh, in air combat, but not far off it. In fact, arguably superior, because while these have got a higher air attack, uh, this one has a greatly increased air defense. So what you have here is potentially a fantastic bit of kit. But that slot cost is pretty nasty. So in an ideal world, what you would want is some way of reducing the slot cost. Right, let's... Um move to reserve all first. Let's check if there's anything new. There is not. Right, so, in this mission, you need to kill a certain number of units. <clears throat> and from what we can see of the starting vision, some of these units are super mega enhanced killing machines. <clears throat> now, there's two ways to get rid of super mega enhanced killing machines. The the usual good method is to um, surround them, but I don't have the power for. So they would fight back for a long time. Plus, I don't have a huge amount of slots on offer here. Forty nine. Unless you were to somehow encircle the whole map, that's going to be a struggle. Out of interest, where are the... Let's put my super infantry back in my team, because I'll definitely use that.
Okay, so the Russians have an airport here. one here. I am allowed to build anywhere on the side, that's all blocked off. Makes you wonder. You know what? <clears throat> It looks to me like there is an actual deep dive surround here. Okay, so what I would have to do is... I'd need a recon car here, so I'd need two units here. The recon car would have to come up here to block this road. I'd need a unit here. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. Same thing, recon car, dive up here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one there, move to the side, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nineteen units, and you could encircle this whole middle area. The enemy is meant to be all along this road. So, if the enemy is all along this road, because according to the mission briefing that's what it is, and they've got these two airports. <clears throat> Then it seems more appropriate to try and deploy all your forces on one side and just come up and destroy everything across, just going along the road and destroying everything along the way. <laughs> it does look like an encirclement would be possible here, but it wouldn't be cheap. It would require quite a few core slots to pull off. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you'd put six here, just along, along here. One, two, Three, four, five. Getting a little bit close to the road here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even at the cheapest, it's going to be sixteen plus two plus two, twenty. Even the cheapest possible surround would require 20 core slots, which is half my core slots. And if there's a horde of enemies, like here, which is what these high ground positions would indicate, since they're supposed to be positions where you spy on the enemy. Then we're gonna have trouble. Operational range 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, this airbase is out of operational uh, airbase range. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, so yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. This is this airbase is out of operational range. This one is just barely within it from this airbase. So I think we plot a Hulk smash here. You know, if I had if I had zero slot heroes, then a surround might be possible, but I don't. So I can't rely on zero slot heroes to give me extra firepower that I'm that I would normally would not have. Okay, this boy did some serious leveling. on this. I must admit, this is nice because it effectively is a fighter and a dive bomber for an extra slot. I don't think Galland can fly it. That's the only weakness. No, he can! Things are about to get weird. This has got like the wrong transport. All right, so here's my idea. <clears throat> We're going to make some super units. Because I can't encircle the enemy, so what I need to do is I need to kill them. But if they're all going to be super overstrengthed, overpowered units, then I need units that are going to be able to just absolutely destroy them. 
with uh, with almost no difficulty. <clears throat> now this can hit air and ground and basically has the best stats possible. So what I want to do is I want to put no retaliation on it and Galland. These guys are equipped to who? He doesn't need no retaliation, does he? <clears throat> Hit and run will be fine because he's got such amazing initiative. Fourteen. Okay, never mind. This thing's got an initiative of one. <laughs> Its initiative is awful. That is where it's going to lose to other fighters. Okay, so if we get hit in one run, it's going to need no retaliation. Let's go with reduced slots because it's going to be the most expensive thing I deploy by miles. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, what I'm going for is I want to go for an extremely small group of incredibly deadly units that are going to be able to assassinate enemy units in single hits. This tank has served me well, just exactly as it is. If we take no surrender off him... We amp him up to full power. Plus three to initiative. Um. <clears throat> Can I go hit and run on this? Right, this dive bomber is going to be here to help me smash. Um, let's go with 14 strength on this one. So I'm just trying to set up a group of extremely powerful units.
with uh, extreme lethality, basically. <clears throat> Bring the artillery along just to repair it. I'll leave any other heroes in reserve. brought this across to actually um, I only brought these anti-aircraft guns along to actually change their transports let's uh, okay let's upgrade this so <clears throat> the idea here will be to aggressively deploy this Still haven't decided what I want to do with my double attack hero. Let's go with no surrender. aim assistance and also no surrender and you can also apply uh, leadership so I've got double strike <clears throat> and ignores entrenchment that is the ultimate way. It's, it's a really good combination for destroying things. The only problem is, is that I'd want to ideally have um, no retaliation as well. Because then you could attack anti-aircraft guns as well. If I take it... Oh, distraction might work. Yeah, okay. Distraction might work. Don't know if it works from the air. Let's try it. Basically, uh, no retaliation means that you can, you can double bomb. Um... You can double bomb um, anti-aircraft guns down, but uh, with distraction you wouldn't be able to bomb the anti-aircraft gun itself, but you would be able to attack without it doing anything to you.
Okay. I'm starting to head to Garbage Town with what I have left. Might as well put Legendary on there because I need some some cash would be nice. That doesn't work from the air as we found out. I basically have four copies of envelopment. <laughs> I have no idea what the difference between shock tactics and envelopment is because they both. I uh, I think envelopment only prevents retreat. Shock tactics is the slightly superior one because it just destroys movement points. My, what my super infantry can do. Let's go with cheap replacements. Without no retaliation, they're actually really going to struggle to do anything. It really is quite important for them. We'll just have to live without it. Uh, in fact, not on this though. such a hard decision because all my heroes are not that like I only have very few good heroes <clears throat> I'll put hit and run on these guys That's the best I can do, isn't it? Uh, hit and run. And fearsome reputation. And then we can put... If we put field repairs on this, <coughs> then the chip damage that we take, we can, we can fix over time. Alright, that leaves me with a million copies of envelopment that are useless. <laughs> Would actually be a good hero if no retreat wasn't on. I don't think this affects support fire, but I'll put it on anyway. If I get desperate, I'll use that. Actually, maybe I won't. So, the idea here, and this 
may feel this may feel like a waste of slots. But the idea here is that all I have to do is kill a very limited number of units. And those units are going to be extremely powerful. So what I want to do is I want to have extremely powerful units of my own that can just go in and kill very dangerous enemies. And that's where massive overstrength comes comes in handy. So what will happen is we'll use these fight use this air force because the mission briefing said that the weather is going to be good perfect conditions for aircraft so we're going to believe that we we'll use this air force from this air base and we'll immediately dive in and attack the airport the mission briefing also said that the enemy would have uh, plenty of fighters so that's what we're going to be relying on that report we'll go in we'll clean away the enemy air and then our our uh, bombers can get to doing their dark work on the enemy. Hopefully distraction works from the air. And what I'll do is I'll deploy all my units up here and we'll go across the river. Once the, once the aircraft has started destroying everything, we'll go across the river. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to bring some padding. Not this. The artillery, by the way, is not got any part in the plan. It's literally just because um, uh, it's just because I uh, I want to repair it. So. Okay, so what these bridge engineers are going to be useful for is that they are going to, once the enemy aircraft are destroyed, we will obviously put our anti-aircraft guns face down in anti-tank mode. This is where this becomes my bringer of judgment. Because it has absolutely vicious... Uh, anti-tank stats. Twenty-eight. Speaking of which, does the upgrade? Oh, this is a flak thirty-six, so it doesn't matter. I was going to say because I bought a load of flak eighteens. I was wondering whether the uh, the anti-tank version had different stats. But yeah, <clears throat> this is where this will become my uh, my harbinger of of judgment because what I will do is I will place it. Um, I'll use this padding in front of it and I'll place it behind them. And any tank that decides to run in and attack these guys is going to get viciously mauled by this. The fifteen centimeter will be useful for providing all round defense. I still don't know what to do with any of this junk. Um, okay, let's put River Assault on this. I suppose Entrenchment Killer? Uh, I can't imagine me attacking an entrenched position with this. It would result in horrible casualties. Uh, I suppose unless the unit in question couldn't fight back, i.e. it was an anti-aircraft gun or an artillery piece or something. Maybe there'll be some use there. Might as well. Might as well put the envelopment heroes out just to not get whined at for having not deployed them. I have no idea if this strategy is going to work. Uh, 
Um, what do I do with the 2x learning guy? Most of these units are actually uh, maxed or near max. Guess I might as well. guys are that useful for cheap replacements. Do you know what? We put cheap replacements on this. Because then it'll be... Because uh, this is actually quite an expensive unit to repair. And we'll put Fearsome Reputation on one of our bridge engineers. Because that might actually make it useful. I can position it next to uh, enemy units to sap their attack strength. Okay, so then we have our anti airs ready to go. We have our fighter teams ready to go. Our tactical ready to go. We're going across the river with everything. Oh, it's a lake. Uh, not... Actually, I'm not sure... Um, I'm not sure bridge engineers can get across a lake. To be fair. Yeah, I'm not sure they can actually get across the lake, to be fair. So I guess we'll need to deploy down here. I'll leave this out of the way up here. <coughs> if, uh... <clears throat> if by the time I'm done cleaning this area and I'm pushing this way, this is repaired, then I can bring it down here to join. I'm pretty sure the enemy just sticks to this road, so that's fine. Alright, oh, it's like an episode of the Commandos, this. I just, I think this will work. <clears throat> and the, the idea why it will work is because we only have to just kill... We just have to kill units quickly. And the best way to do that is with extremely powerful units. Unless you can surround them, but I don't think it's realistic for me to deploy a surround strategy. Especially with minus 10% 10, 10 core slots. <clears throat> right, if this doesn't work out as planned, then uh, I'm going to look like a total fool. But anyway, that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.